guess I try to tell them I that numbers are a door to understanding.
Do we occupy a special place in the cosmos? Or are we merely a celestial footnote? Is the universe welcoming or hostile? We could stand here forever wondering. Or we could leave home on the ultimate adventure.
full moon day. The full moon is when the star Mula. And the Mula star happens to be in Sagittarius. It's very special because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter Guru. So this full moon is very special because it happens in Sagittarius. The full moon is a very important thing. The grace of the Guru is abundantly available on the full moon days. According to the tradition of yoga, without the Guru, it is impossible.
that this full moon is very special because it happens in Sagittarius. The full moon is a very important thing. The grace of the Guru is abundantly available on the full moon days. According to the tradition of yoga, without the Guru, it is impossible to be enlightened.
Jupiter over here than the universe. The questions I would like to talk about are... 1. Where did we come from? How did the universe come into being? Are we alone in the universe? Is there alien life out there? What is the future of the human race? Up until the 1920s, everyone thought the universe was essentially static and unchanging in time. Then it was discovered that the universe was expanding. Distant galaxies were moving away from us. This meant they must have been closer together in the past. If we extrapolate back, we find they must have all been on top of each other about 15 billion years ago.
two concepts that are traditionally opposed, science and spirituality, we humbly reintroduce psychedelics back into the cultural dialogue. Cultural dialogue.
of two concepts that are traditionally opposed, science and spirituality, we humbly reintroduce psychedelics back into the cultural realm.